what is going on Cosmic Army? PTS42 here and today we are doing a Q&A video for my one year anniversary on YouTube. I'm really excited. I've got a, I've got a handful of questions from you guys and I'm going to answer them for you. So let's hop right into it. DD Last asks, are you planning gameplay videos for future videos in your channel? Well, definitely yes. Uh, I started a few Let's Play series, which I've kind of put on hiatus for at the moment. Uh, but definitely do plan on doing more, uh, whether it's Smash or any other Nintendo games that I would be able to uh, play without getting copyrighted. Uh, so look forward to uh, more games in the future, definitely. Tai Tai Rocks One asks, "You seem to be growing, PTS. That's great." I remember that stream I first saw. I made you hum frozen. Hee <laughs> hee. It's great to see you growing. When are you streaming? And do you still have a crazy, hectic work schedule? I do still have a crazy uh, work schedule. Uh, not only with work at Target, but also with school and doing YouTube as well. Uh, things have been crazy and my time is split very slimly. So I haven't had a lot of time to do uh, any live streams recently. Uh, but I have done a few here and there just randomly, like sporadically. Uh, but I definitely want to stream more and uh, get back into that as well. Mario Fan 11 asks, "What is the origin of the Green Mario Alt?" Uh, so the Green Mario Alt is the skin that I play in a Smash 4. That's a, that's, a, that's a hard question to answer, just because uh, I've just always played Green Mario. Uh, I think because I used to play Luigi in Melee. And so in Smash 4, I was just kind of excited. Uh, Mario was really good, and I really just, like, the satisfaction of his uh, forward air spike is just phenomenally great. It's fantastic. Uh, so, I, I, no real, like, origin story. I just always liked playing the green Mario alt. Cole Walker asks, How did you get those amiibo backgrounds perfectly unboxed and put on your wall? So, uh, what he is actually talking about... Uh, are the photos of the amiibo backgrounds that I have which I've gotten a lot of questions like that in the past uh, Actually on r slash amiibo someone went in and made and photoshopped all of the uh, Backgrounds and you can download them and print them off and put them up just like that So that's what I did. I'll leave a link down in this, the description and you can check that out and get those printed out for yourself Panda production gaming and more asks can I ask what kind of editing software I use? Uh, I actually use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, Photoshop, After Effects, the whole Creative Cloud, all the whole Creative Suite, whatever you want to call it. I use all Adobe products. They're amazing, and that's kind of what I've always used. Uh, I used Final Cut in the past, but I definitely like Premiere Pro a lot better. All right, this is a long, long comment here. Uh, it's from James. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. James Forio. Hi, PTS. Nice video. I also enjoyed the music you put in your video. It's pretty cool. I got a Lucas at GameStop a month ago. The day they opened, they got 20. As of right now, they still have a few more. Did you get the gold Mega Man Amiibo? No, I did not get the gold Mega Man Amiibo just because the background on it is just blank white. It's just white and it looks terrible and I just did not want it just because of that reason. Uh, it was just, it's just gross. Also, he says, it comes with Mega Man Legacy Collection Bundle. I got them at GameStop. They had three, which was, which they were all reserved. I'm glad I pre-ordered it. I also pre-ordered TPHD Twilight Princess HD at GameStop and getting, and getting them this Friday. You should get the Wolf Link Amiibo as well. Right back when you get this. So this is me writing back to you uh, right now. And uh, in the past, this is an older comment. A lot of these uh, questions are a bit older. Uh, from when I would ask for questions for Q&A's in the past and these are all the ones that I've got uh, But anyway already got the wolf link amiibo you can check that out link in the description if you want to see the hunt for that uh, Thanks for your question man. The Titan Pokemon asks what does the cosmic army even mean? Well before I made my YouTube channel uh, I actually exclusively did twitch streams and uh, one night I did a, a follower ch challenge video. I think it was uh, 25 followers on Twitch. And uh, Chris Wargy was his name. Uh, we came up with this challenge for me to do when I hit 25 followers. And then he called it the Mayo Ball Challenge because I hate mayonnaise. So I had a bouncy ball and I covered it in mayonnaise and had to, you know, eat it off. And it was disgusting and it spit it all up. But that night, 
uh, a bunch of people came into the stream and was checking it out and just like things blew up and uh, Cosmic uh, Jose was his name. He uh, came up with the idea for the Cosmic Army and uh, it just kind of originated from there. We were all talking about it and it was super exciting and that's where it came from. And I love space. That's a thing too. Sandycraft asks, where did you get the back amiibo art from? I already answered this question. Uh, I got it from r slash amiibo. Link in the description if you want to check those out and download them for yourself. Nerd Battle asks, I know you spent your money and they belong to you, but why do you keep them in the box? I know you're not a scalper, but do you like the packaging? Is that why? Because that makes sense. Yes, that is why. I think they look so much better uh, with the backgrounds intact and everything in the box. It just looks so much better to me, and it looks so much better on the shelf. Uh, so that's why. Corey Price from Twitter asks, "If you had, if you have any superpower, what would it be, and why? DC shows, Marvel Cinematic, or X Men?" Uh, uh, probably. I don't know if you would consider uh, Goku to be a super, or uh, uh, like a superpower, like having his abilities, or anything like that. Definitely. Uh, Super Saiyan action going on here. Evil J Black asks, was was Jared the guy in the Way 4 hunt that you were talking to, uh, the female employee about the selfie stick you were filming? Uh, you were filming with your hunt? Yes, Jared is the same Jared that I was talking to at Target on May 29th, 2015. Uh, and he, he actually offered me a job afterwards. And that's where I am now. I'm working at Target, and he's an amazing boss, Jared. If you're watching this, hello. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun there at Target, uh, and yeah. So once again, from Twitter, Evil J Black asks, "Will there be any chance of another Amiibo hunted video?" <laughs> well, Cosmic Army, since you asked so nicely, you'll probably be seeing my face just. Plenty. I really only planned on hijacking the channel one time, but it was just so much fun I can't resist. <laughs> so, let's answer just a few more questions. Power Down asks, PTS question, would you consider yourself addicted to amiibos? Well, I think I can speak for him when I say, yeah, he's very addicted, but his addiction doesn't match mine. I've even collected some of the same amiibos as him and matched their box condition. Samuel asks, PTS, what do you do with your amiibo? Do you either use them somehow in their package or leave them as is? Well, that's the reason I had to invade the channel in the first place. He just leaves them in the box and all their glory is kept contained in the box, so he just needed to open one. But that will change and I will be back. And finally, Nerd Battle asks, do you plan on doing the Q&A idea that I told you about for your one year anniversary? And the answer is, nope. That's all the time that we have today, folks. But until next time, and there will be a next time, keep on being stellar.